So in yoga, breathing is called pranayama, and there's a few different breaths that you can do depending on what the body needs and, and what you would like to, to do. Like everything in yoga, it's important to really use consciousness, really listen to your body and not push it to a place where it's uncomfortable. Um, breathing is a very important part of yoga, but it should be very, uh, should be done with much consciousness because um, you, you don't want to harm your body or uh, become lightheaded, especially from this type of breathing. If you're very warm in your yoga practice and you feel like your temperature is getting to a place where it's too hot and you're overheating, there is shitali breathing, which is cooling breathing. And the way you do that is like this. So that may look silly, but you'd be amazed at how much that can actually cool your body, especially when you're sweating or feeling overheated by certain yoga flows. Ujjayi breath, which is probably one of the most popular breaths in yoga, and it's called ocean's breath. And it's a way to conserve energy. And not only do I like to use it in yoga, but sometimes in life, in um, doing other sports where I feel like I need to conserve my energy in order to make it last longer. And Ujjayi breath <clears throat> is a sound that sounds like the ocean. So you're making the noise of but you have the mouth closed. So it sounds like and you can also do it with the inhale. So it sounds like Kumbhaka is breath retention. It's pronounced Kumbhaka. And it has a lot to do with the three locks, the bandhas that we have in our body. The Mula Bandha, which is in the root. Uh, Udhyana Bandha, which is right about at the core. And then the Jaladhara Bandha, which is right here. So in breath retention, we inhale. And as we inhale to the fullest of our lungs capability, we can lock our mula bandha. So we tense our mula bandha, and then we follow by lifting up and tensing our udhyana bandha, and then closing our third lock of jaladhara bandha, and being able to hold that breath inside of us, that prana, that energy, just for a little bit longer. So it looks something like this. So for, for releasing Kumbhaka breath, I like to release first the Mula Bandha, then the Udhyana Bandha, and then finally the Jaladhara Bandha by lifting the chin. So to do alternate nostril breathing, we just uh, place the pinky on one nostril and inhale, coming up the body. And then we can close and allow for the breath to be held inside. And then we release the pinky and allow for it to come out. The lion's breath can be used to release too much energy, maybe in a practice where you feel tense and you just have to uh, find a, another outlet. It's, it's also a very cooling breath and lion's breath looks something like this. So there is another type of yoga breath called Kapalabhati, 
and it's called skull shining, where sometimes you can use it almost to cleanse your mind of thoughts. This type of breath is done by inhaling and then letting out the breath in rapid repetition, uh, sounding something like this. And you can actually see it in the abdomen as the diaphragm pushes and the breath is actually able to come out and the inhale just becomes automatic. So really you're just focusing on pushing the air out. For more videos for intermediate and advanced, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share to fit. Inhaling, coming up, maybe closing the eyes. And then exhale slowly.